Hello, and welcome back to Universal Class. In this lesson, we're going to go over formatting rows and columns, changing the column width. In Excel 2013, the width of a column is determined by how many characters can be displayed within a cell. The maximum width for a column is 255 characters if the default font and font size is used. The minimum width is zero, of course, if a column width is zero, the column will be hidden. Okay, so let's first open up a spreadsheet we have here called uh, Food Cart Sales Revenue. And here we're charting the revenue of a food cart uh, over a week. And this food cart uh, has totaled for each day popcorn, candy, drinks, nachos, hot dogs, liquor, and memorabilia. And so these are the uh, totals for each day of the week. To set a column to a specific width, select the column that you want to format. So let's say we want to select the Wednesday column here. Next, go to the cells group under the home tab. Look for format. So we're on the home tab and let's go to the cells group. Let's click on that. And what do we have? We have something called format. Let me just move this over here. Some of this seems to be a little bit off screen. So let me go back over here. And then from this, you can see this drop down uh, menu for cell size, visibility, organized sheets, and protection. But what we want is to go over to column width. So we click on column width, and this is the width that we specify for the column. So this allows you to manually set the specific width of any single column or selection of columns. So we could change this to be 17 if we like, and we hit OK, and voila. Now there are going to be many circumstances that you may just want to change the width of a column so that it just fits the contents of the cell. Now let's say we had a situation where we had some very tiny columns here, and you can see as I squeeze these columns, we get little number signs appearing when all the information can't be displayed in the cell. So let's say we have a situation like this. Let me move this back over here. So maybe you just want to make sure that the columns are wide enough to display all the contents, but you don't want to take the time to count characters. Of course, no one wants to take the time to count characters. Perhaps you aren't even sure how many characters there will be, but want to make sure that the column will be wide enough anyway. For that, we're gonna go back to the Format drop-down menu, and this time we're gonna select the Auto Fit column. But it's important that before we do that, let's select all the cells, and there's a quick way to select all the cells, and that's just by clicking this corner button here, which is at the very top left, and is the intersection above the one and above the A. So we click here, and that highlights everything in the worksheet. So this will apply what we're about to do to everything in the worksheet, which is what we want. And then we come over here to the cells group, click down. We go to format. And now we're going to do, because uh, it's a column, we're going to do auto fit column width. And once we do that, magically, every column is perfectly fitting to the contents of the cell with the greatest number of characters. Remember this this makes it a lot easier than to go to each column and, and try to adjust the width for each column. Or even to, if you select all these columns here like this, when you apply the width of this column, it applies it to all of them at once, which uh, may make, in, like in this uh, case, it may make uh, some columns to be uh, too big uh, based on the content. So if you really want to auto fit it correctly, select everything and go over to auto fit column width. And that maximizes the screen space. Now let's say you wanna match the column width with a specific column width that you already have somewhere, somewhere else. And you can do that by using paste special. So let's say we wanna match, we want Sunday's column here to be the exact same width as column A for whatever reason. So to do that, we highlight column A, right click here, and we're gonna to go to copy. So we've copied this column. And then we're gonna go over here to column Sunday, right click on column Sunday, and we're gonna select paste 
special. And under the paste special dialog box, this is going to ask us what we want to paste. And in this particular case, the only thing we want to paste from column A to column H is column width. And that's it. We don't want to paste formulas, values, or anything like this, and that's why it's all unchecked. We just want to paste column widths, and we hit OK. And now column H is the same width as column A. And we can verify that by going under Cells, Format, and doing uh, column width here, and it says it's 11.57. So let's go see if column A is 11.57. And that's 11.57. You can also change the default width for all columns in a worksheet or a workbook. To change a default column width for a worksheet, click on the Worksheet tab to make the worksheet active. Well, we only have one worksheet here, and we're on it. And that's Sheet 1. To change it for the entire workbook, if you have multiple worksheets, and we can just add a few here, and you want to change your column width for all worksheets within this workbook, we right click on any sheet and we select select all sheets. Now we go back to the home tab and click the format drop down arrow again. So let's go over to home cells format. And now we want to do default width. And I'm not sure if you can see that, so let's just move that over. Format we want to do default width. Now the, the default width is currently set at 1086, 10.86, and we could make that something like now columns will now be at width 17. And that's the default width for all the columns. So if we go to sheet two, everything's now at a default width of 17. Now, if we don't like that, we can always undo it. So we can go and click the undo button up here, and that's done. Now, just like we did this with columns, we can also do this with rows. So let's say we have some tiny rows in here, just like this. We can hardly see some of these rows. And uh, uh, again, we can be like, oh, but we want all of our rows to fit the data that's in them, so we can highlight all the rows. Again, we go over to Cells, we go to Format, and then we go to Auto Fit Row Height. Uh, if you can see that, let me move that over. Format, and we just do Auto Fit Row Height, and everything, as you can see, pops back uh, into the visible area perfectly. You can also specifically change the row height to a specific value for either a specific row or a range of rows or all the rows. In this case, if we wanted to change all the rows, which we select there to select everything in the spreadsheet, let's say we want to change all the rows uh, to be a much larger height. Again, we go under cells, we go to format, and we select, um, if you can see that, go over here cells, format, and we go to row height, then we can say we want all rows not to be 15, but we want them to be 25. And we click on that. And now all of our rows are really big. Again, click the undo to undo what we did. One last thing, you can change rows and column widths and heights by using your mouse, which you've probably seen me do lots of times. Click on a, any column here, and then uh, move the cursor, move the mouse until it turns into this line with two arrows on the sides coming out, and then you can move it out, move it in. Same with a row, highlight a row, and then just get that mouse in between two rows, and you can make it large like that and small like that. And always click undo if you want. There's multiple undos.